is responsible for. And Israel has a right to protect its people. You know, and there are many phone calls this week. President Biden has told Prime Minister Netanyahu that the United States would also respond swiftly and decisively to such a ma massive terrorist assault. And the president also underscored that democracies like ours are stronger and more secure when we uphold the laws of war. Terrorists like Hamas deliberately target civilians. But democracies don't. This is a time for resolve and not revenge. For purpose and not panic. And for security and not surrender. At President Biden's direction, we have moved urgently to respond to this crisis and to send, to send a strong message of deterrence. The USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group is now in the region, led by the largest aircraft carrier in the world. We've augmented U.S. fighter aircraft squadrons in the Middle East, and the U.S. Department of Defense stands full 